Schopenhauer was a big fan of these. He uh, really sang their praises, the Upanishads. I don't think that one has to be a theist or religious or anything at all to actually uh, get really into the speculations uh, that they engage in themselves. What am I? <laughs> what is the universe? The Katha Upanishad is, it illustrates quite neatly the reason why I can't really agree with the conclusions drawn by some antinatalists. I think I can agree with an awful lot of their arguments, but as far as their conclusions, I still, so far, I can't accept them. Nachiketas, a young Brahmin, goes down to the underworld, and he meets the god of death, Yama. The god of death <coughs> offers Nachiketas three great boons, and the last most important one, as it usually is in tales like this, is teach me about what I am. Teach me about what you are, death. Um, I'm not interested in any other things in the world because be, because of you being here, everything else is unimportant. In other words, as we all know, death is there at the end of each human life to wipe the slate completely clean, to undo anything that's ever been done or experienced or accumulated or felt or anything. Now, death then explains to him in a very elliptical, very enigmatic way what Nachiketas is, what we all are, what the universe is. Um, all that it really does, if you ask me, though, is it sets the stage for essentially a lifetime of speculations. I don't think that the Katha Upanishad was trying to say, here's all the answers. I think it was just saying, here's the starting point of real speculation. Um, the futility of existence seems to me to strike some people as evidence that it's pointless and one should not continue speculating on it. I would actually argue the exact opposite. The very pointlessness of existence should be the starting point of our speculations, not the end. Schopenhauer certainly thought so as well. Thank you.